So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And today we are going to solve union of two sorted arrays. So let us have a look at the problem, right? So the question says we have been given two sorted arrays. One is array one, another is array two. Size of array one is given us to as n. Sign of size of array two is given us to as r, as m. Now we have to provide a vector of int as our answer. Which and this vector is actually representing the union of these two arrays. Union, right? Okay. So before calculating the approaches, let us see what is the real answer, right? So the real answer you can actually see is one, two, three, four, and after that five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve. According to me, this is the correct union of the two arrays, right? Now let us look at the problem. But before looking at the problem, I would like to say that. What, do you know? Do you know that what is the union? Union means the element should either occur in this or in this, right? Element should either occur in this or in, or in this. And like you can see, three is occurring two times, right? In this as well as in this. So I will count three only once. I will count three only once as well as four, right? So this is the basic operation of union. And let us now look at the approach. Let us now look at the approach. So my first approach says. Take a vector, right? Push all elements inside the vector. Push all the elements inside the vector. That is all the elements of array one, all the ele elements of array two. Push the elements inside the vector and then remove duplicates from vector. Remove duplicates from vector. Now, how to remove duplicates from vector? For that, I can either use a map to keep the count, or I can use the sorting method. So I can use count method or the sorting method. Let us look at the how the approaches will work. So, if I take the take all the elements of this as well as this into a single array, the array would look something like one, two, three, four, five, six, three, four. 7, 8, 10, 12, right? Now the count method says I will make another map to keep count of all the elements, right? So 1 is coming one time, 2 is coming one time, 3 is actually coming two times, 4 is coming one time, 5 is coming one time, 6 is coming one time, 3 is coming one time, sorry, 3 is actually come, so 1 is coming one time, 7 is coming one time, 8 is coming one, once, once. And I will take all the elements only once. So 1, 2, 3, and I will get this array as my answer, right? Okay, so this is the count of this is the method of count, right? Either I can use a set also. So instead of pushing all the elements into the vector, I will push all the elements into a set, and set will give me the union, and I will take and I will, I will convert the set into a vector again, and I will return the answer, right? Now the third method is sorting method. How will this work? So if after taking this array as the collection, if I sort it, my array will look something like one, two, three, three, four. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, right? This is my sorted array. This is my sorted array. Now, to do convert this sorted array into a non-duplicate array, because unions, I, I actually explained you that union does not contain duplicates. Union does not contain duplicates. So what I will do is, I will take another vector. I will say vector of int answer and what I will do is I will make something like this and I will say for i let us suppose this uh, uh, this combined array this combined sorted array is actually x right so for i equals to 0 up till x dot size minus 1 now what I will do first I will push the x element first I will push this element into my answer so I will say answer equals to x0 right and I will start this loop from 1. Now, I don't have to put duplicates. Now, is this a duplicate? Is this a duplicate element? You can say this is a duplicate element because 3 already occurred in the element. So, what I will say is if x of i equals to equals to x of i minus 1, in that case, continue. Else, answer dot push back uh, x of i 
right and then after the com completion of the loop I will return my answer now what is the time complexity of this approach what is the time complexity okay so you took O of n plus n time m time to insert all the elements into the vector right after that n plus m multiplied by log of n plus m this much time for sorting right and after that again n plus n m time for making the correct answer array and what is the space complexity so my time complexity is actually this because this is the greatest term among all those and my space complexity is o of n plus m because we use an extra array of size o of n plus m to store our uh, to make uh, inference to make a pre-processed array right now what if i tell you that these all approaches are actually very basic and i will tell you something even more easier than that and you will say wow you were just amazing about telling this such an optimized approach why didn't you tell it first right i am not telling the optimized approach at first in my videos because i want you to know that interviewer asks you for the brute force approach first because the interviewer is sitting there not to test your uh, knowledge not to test your ideas but to test your skills but to test your problem solving skills that how do you see the problem right so let us move to the optimize approach optimize approach so our arrays were one two three four five six and another one was three four uh, seven eight ten twelve this was these were our arrays right this was array two this was array one now my approach says I will keep my I pointer here my J pointer here okay I will make an answer array and I insert this element into the array so array 1 let us name it as array 1 and this as array 2 so array 1 of I and then I plus plus okay so I actually comes here and my answer becomes currently 1 right after that I will start a loop which will say while i is less than n suppose this is the size of n this this size is n i is less than n and j is less than n that is both the pointers are within their boundaries of the arrays right I will say if now mark clearly I am pushing this element smaller I will I am just looking at these two elements this this element and this element I am just looking at these two elements these two elements are my focus where i and j are residing and I am saying the shorter one will get inserted into the answer so if array 1 of i is less than array 2 of j in that case now I will check whether my answer already contains this value it might be possible that my array 1 is actually looking like 1 2 2 3 4 5 6 right and my i is here my answer already contains 1 and 2 and I'm my i is here and if I say that I am pushing 2 again then it will invalidate right because my answer will contain duplicates then so what I will say now after this condition if array 1 of i is not equals to answer dot back that is the last element inserted into the answer in that case answer dot push back array 1 of i right array 1 of i and after that I will say I plus plus just mind that this is a nested if this if is actually coming inside this else I will do the same for the jth element so else that should be pretty evident if array 2 of j is not equals to answer dot back that is the last element inserted into the answer what I will say I will say answer dot push back array 2 of j and I am not considered about this if I will say ah, whether this if is returning true or false I will just j plus plus for the next element now if I dry run this if I dry run this for the given arrays what will my answer look like so I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 3 4 7 8 10 12 right so my i is here my j is here right first i push this element so my answer will become like one right and then i moved i here now i am comparing these elements two so two is greater than three no two is less than three so i will push two because two is not equals to one also i will move i forward three equals to three no i will push jth element now j j uh, j comes here is three less than four yes three less than four but 3 is actually existing in the last element of the answer so I will just move i without inserting anything 
right? Four equals to four. So I will move this element. I will push this element here. J will come here. Now four, but four is already inserting. So I will just move I. I will not do anything else. Now seven and five. I will push five. I will move I here. Now I will push six and move I out of the bounds. Now, because of my this condition, while I is less than N, my loop will break. But there are, there are elements like 7, 8, 10, 12, which are yet to be uh, inserted, which are yet to be inserted. So I will have to write again something. I will do define another loop. So while I is less than N, what I will do? I will say if answer dot back, that is the last, last element inserted into, uh, into the array is not equals to array one of I. In that case, answer dot push back array one of i right and i plus plus and similarly for the j these two loops are actually accounting for the elements which were not considered in the above loop so file j is less than m if answer dot back is not equals to array two of j in that case answer dot push back array 2 of j right and j plus plus right so what will this do this will insert all the ele elements which are not yet drivers and it will also check for the duplicates as well okay no problem in that now it is a fun fact that only one loop out of these two will work only one loop out of these two will work why because if i'm coming at this point this point was actually come coming when i is actually equals to n or j is actually equals to n. So if i is equals to n, only this loop will work. If j is equals to m, only this loop will work. Okay. So only one of this loop will work. Either this or this. Right. This should be clearly known to you. Now, after all these loops, I will just say return answer and I will say thank you for you now and I will move to the coding area. Hope you have understood the problem. If not, please try to watch it again. Otherwise, you know where to find me. I am on my Instagram, LinkedIn. The links are mentioned in the description and comment section is always open, always open to you guys. So no worries, ask me anywhere, right? And let us move to the coding section now. So before coding, like a proper ritual, I would request you to uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new here and hit the like button as much as possible, right? Okay, so let us start coding. So I will say first, which I didn't discuss there, that if array one of zero, is actually less than or oh, is actually greater than array 2 of 0 in that case return find union of array 1 array 2 sorry array 2 array 1 and I will just reverse right now I'm telling you what is actually what I'm actually doing I'm in this case you remember in this case when I was pushing the elements of array one inside the elements like the here, like here, right? I was directly pushing the elements here. I was directly pushing the first element of the first array, right? But it might be the case that the first element of the first array is actually not greater than uh, sec first element of second array, right? It might be something different. That is, it is actually greater, not smaller, right? So for that accounting, I am actually treating this. I am actually treating this. If the array element is greater than uh, second first element, I will just say Turn it in for the reverse of them. The answer will be remaining same only. After that, I will create my vector int answer and I will initialize with array one of zero with it. Now, my int i is actually pointing at one now and j is actually pointing at zero. Now, while i is less than n and j is less than m, in that case, if array one of i is actually equals to is actually less than array two of j in that case if answer dot back is not equals to array one of i in that case answer dot push back array one of i and no matter what is the if statement result i will just increment my i pointer after that else if answer dot back is not equals to array 2 of j in that case answer dot push back array 2 of j and j plus plus 
now after this i will have to write those two loops which were for handling the cases of the remaining elements so while i is less than n here i will just need another value or only one condition if answer dot back is not equals to array one of i in that case answer dot push back array one of i and i plus plus similarly for j so while j is less than m if answer dot back is not equals to array two of j in that case answer dot push back array two of j and then j plus plus right after all of these steps i will just return answer this code should run fine and let us try to compile and run it now hope it would work in the meantime i would request you to follow me in my social media platforms and if you are new here do not forget to subscribe for more such amazing content all right so it is running fine and let us try it for submit now okay so you can see the counter going up and it is a streak of 127 days thank you for watching and hope you like the video please don't forget to subscribe we'll meet tomorrow bye have a nice day